Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Um, this video is going to be, you know, just a little upgrade, small little upgrade to the CRX uh, for quality of life purposes and whatnot. But first and foremost, we got to take out the center console and all that. And I'm going to try to do that as quickly as possible because it's, it's hot out here today. <laughs> and uh, it's even hotter inside this car. So, let's get to it. First thing you need to do, remove this panel. There's a screw under there. Here too, there's like two of them. Unscrew that so you can take off this, this part, uh, which will free up this because there's a screw right here on the other side. One here, under right here under the dash. Oh, actually that's missing a screw, so never mind. Uh, mm -hmm. Screw right here, which I think that's missing one too. <laughs> and then there's one right that's missing too. Okay, so this might be actually easier than I expected, so... All right, so I kind of screwed up a little bit. Uh, these two screws, one, they were both tight. I was able to get one out. This one right here is pretty much stripped. So, I mean, I'm not really worried about that because I'll probably just put in the other screw and just leave that alone. Right now, I just need to take these four screws out and this entire thing can come out. Take out this radio since I don't really need need it for this job. All right, now you just need to unclip this. It's the wire to the ground to the cigarette lighter. There we go. All right, this is all we need. I'm, let's go inside and finish this rest of this shit. All right, so first we're gonna do the easy one, which is the ashtray. So we're gonna remove that. Press that down to remove that, move that off to the side. I got this on eBay from a store called Greg's, Greg's Parts. Small business guy, you know, he makes a lot of uh, stuff for a CRX and some other cars, uh, as you, you can see here. I don't know if you can kinda, really tell, but it's 3, 3D printed. It's a cup holder. It basically replaces this right here. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna reuse the stock stuff. Um, so first I need to unspring this somehow. And we got these two screws in here for the tray, the front tray. Just gonna unscrew that. So this is done for. I could throw it away or keep it or I don't know, something. Uh, then we just replace it with this onto this thing right here. That's pretty secure. Now we just gotta do this part. 
This little divot right here is where this metal part goes. And then a little space down here is where the spring, the hook spring part of the, of the cover goes. Squeeze it all the way down to the bottom, right there. And then it should just slide in. There you go. So now, got a cup holder. <laughs> nice. A little bit of a quality of life type of thing. You know, nothing too crazy. But now I can actually carry water bottles or cans or whatever. In the future, I might cut this down a little bit. Just because, like, for example, this cup, it kind of still cuts in to the available space. You know what I mean? It kind of cuts in a little bit right there. But hey, you know, it's it works. All right, the next part, the hard part though, is gonna be this. All right, so I have bought a dual USB port for this car. Originally, I just bought a um, uh, another car charger to plug into this cigarette lighter, um, but it didn't work. For some reason, I don't know why, no, no power was going to it. Yeah, I also checked the fuses too, and all the fuses were good, so it's either a bad wire, or this this cigarette lighter, this 12 volt, is uh, bad. Uh, you know, it's after almost, after about 30 years, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it was bad. So, but anyways, you're gonna wire in this uh, dual USB right here. Even has like a voltmeter right here, so it could read like the battery voltage and all that, which is, you know, a nice little extra. But first and foremost, let us unhook this. Right here's the ground, and then it's wired in right there, so let's pull this off right quick. Okay, so this has some clips around the plastic. Screw this. That's the sleeve. And then this just comes out. This plastic part comes out too. You could probably just leave that off too. You know, might as well. So if you see here, right here, there's these two like little bumps right here. Uh, you might as well go ahead and chop those off because those will probably interfere with your locking ring. Uh, depending on the USB you get, you might have to resize this hole, which I might have to do on this one. Uh, I don't know if I have my step drill here though. I gotta look for my step drill. So what you want to do is go in. Then the size where it stops, just go one little bit up. careful when doing this you want to go a little at a time better go a little at a time than too much at once you know For my particular one, I'm gonna have to put this voltmeter cover upside down, or this USB voltmeter thing, whatever, upside down, because this little part right here won't, doesn't have enough space over here. So let's try that. Oh, this, this thing is kind of, hmm. Well, that's gonna be annoying. You know what, I'm just gonna leave this cover off because honestly, 
my USB charge, my USB cable is gonna be plugged in at this in this the whole time, pretty much. So look how flush that is. Ooh, even down here, it's like all flush and stuff. Nice. All right, got your ring. It's a tight fit, but I think it'll work. Ooh boy, that is a tight fit. That kind of just means it's not gonna be going nowhere, so. <laughs> just gotta make sure it's straight. All right, there it is. Kind of see the red theme going. <laughs> this wire that came with the USB uh, plug, I was just test fitting that these would fit on this uh, back here uh, with the positive and negative. Uh, for some reason, this positive won't come out anymore, so I'm just gonna leave it in there. Um, we're gonna have to cut off some of that. We're gonna cut off about to where this, to where this fuse is, which we won't need. It's better to go too much on this than too little, just in case you mess up and whatnot. Now this original wire, the white and blue is your positive and the black is gonna be negative. Now you need to cut off these ends right here because they are not gonna be used. And then, okay, yep, that'll work. It's not the prettiest, but I wired them up. Um, now just the moment of truth. I just go outside and see if it plugs in and works and all that. Good news, it looks like it works. Let me just go ahead and plug in my phone and see if it charges. It's charging, it's charging. I don't know if you could see it, but a little charging symbols going on there. And the voltmeter's working, so battery's good, should be in the 12s. It's turned out way better than I expected. You know, I'm actually kind of proud of myself because I absolutely hate wiring, the idea of wiring stuff. I mean, just, I've, I've never really done it per se, simply because, you know, wiring scares the hell out of me, so. Um, it was a simple wire splice job, but I'm kind of proud of myself that I did that. <laughs> So. All right, she's back together. Let's turn it on. There you go. Full meters on. This is the... Got a few more things to, to work on in, in here, but I'm just waiting on parts. And I also need like some kind of phone holder. Probably a vent clip or something that sticks on the side of here. That's it for today's video, just a really simple install and increased the livability, quality of life aspect of this car just a little bit. Um, just to make it just that much more daily friendly, you know? Like that video, um, you know, subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, leave a comment too if you want. Um, I'm definitely open to uh, suggestions and whatnot and what to do with this car in terms, especially when it comes to the small mods and whatnot, but yeah. Other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.